Now, I'm really going to get into something that's, it's a, uh, this is, this is, this right here is going to get deep. In the entire Old Testament, Genesis through Malachi, not a hint of the Zodiac. It's not there. The Torah, the Tanakh, the Talmud, the Midrashic commentaries. Guys, let this sink in. Nowhere in ancient Jewish literature do you find a knowledge or recognition of the Zodiac. That's a problem. Okay. You guys remember, I provide these PDFs so you can do your own follow-up research. Yeah. Don't don't come back to archaics arguing that Moses Maimonides wrote all about the zodiac. He 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 wrote about it here. He 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 defined all 12 signs. No. You need to pay attention to the facts as I give them. I said no ancient Jewish texts mention a zodiac. And what I mean is there is no references in the Talmud, in the Midrashic text, in the in the Torah, the Tanakh, the Bible. There's no zodiac in the Old Testament. Moses Maimonides lived 900 years ago. By that time, the zodiac was already 900 years old. We'll get to that in a minute. So, There's a long list of authors who wrote about astronomy, about star theology, about comets, about movements of, of the stars, different belief systems. They made reference to, to, to uh, other people's beliefs. There's a whole list of authors that should have said something about the Zodiac.